Welcome to the homework for lesson six. This is module three of grade one. Get your name on here first, don't forget it. You wanna get credit for your homework. Natasha's teacher wants her to put the fish in order from sh longest to shortest. Measure each fish with the centimeter cubes your teacher gave you. Well, if you don't have centimeter cubes, if your teacher didn't give you centimeter cubes to take home or you lost them or whatever, um, you could use a ruler to measure these. Uh, I'm going to use pictures of cubes. I'm going to use squares. Let me just get a few of these out here so I can use them. And I'll move them around as I need to. All right. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and that's as long as it goes. So that that's going to be six centimeters. And then the shark. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need more centimeter cubes. Eight, nine, shark is nine, this kind of, this fish here reminds me of rainbow fish, one, two, three, Four, five, and then uh, this fish over here kind of looks like a clownfish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight centimeters, and then I've got another fish. One more fish here, fish letter E. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. And we want to order these from A, B, and C, not all of them, just A, B, and C from longest to shortest. So, so looking at A, B, and C, those fish, which one is the longest? Because that's the one that's going to go first, because we're going longest first and shortest last. So looking at A, B, and C, that's the shark is the longest one, and that's B. And then the shortest, what's shorter, A or C? Well, A is 6 and C is 8, so A is shorter. 
So A is the shortest. And C is in the middle. Now it says to use all of the fish measurements to complete the sentences. And we've got fish A, fish C. So we're going to use all of the fish. And if you're using two-sided pages, you can't, you're going to have to be going back and forth. So I'm going to use a trick that I used before for uh, lesson five homework. And I'm going to go back and just, I'm going to make some notes on this page so I can just look at them while I read the questions and answer the questions. So we've got, a, we've got fish A, B, C, D, and E. Now let's go back and look at those fish and see what they were. So A was 6 and B is 9. And these are centimeters. CM is the abbreviation. And then C is 8 and D was 5. And fish E was 7. All right, now we can just look at these numbers and answer the questions. Uh, if you have uh, one-sided pages, then you can just look at the pictures of the fish, and you don't have to do this. Fish A is longer than what fish? Fish A is 6, so it's the only one it's longer than is fish D, because fish D is 5. And it's shorter than any other fish, right? Because it's shorter than fish B, C, and E, because it's only 6. So let's say it's shorter than fish C. And it looks like there's more than one right answer to some of these. Uh, fish C is short. Fish C is this one here. That's 8 centimeters. It's shorter than fish B. Well, fish B is 9, so that's shorter than 9, so it's shorter than fish B. And it's longer than fish, uh, well, fish D is 5, so it's longer than that. So it's longer than fish D. 8 is more than 5. And then finally this one. C, fish, which one is the shortest fish? That's fish D. Because it's only 5. Alright. If Natasha gets a new fish that is shorter than fish A, list the fish that the new fish is also shorter. So, uh, if Natasha gets a new fish that is shorter than fish A, so it has, that means it has to be shorter than 6. This has got a new fish, we'll call it fish F, and it's less than 6. List the fish that the new fish is also shorter than so well if it's going to be less than six it's going to be shorter than almost anything else except for fish d it might they might both be five so i'll list all of the fish things so it's got to be shorter than fish e because anything less anything more than six right is the are the fish we're going to list so that 7 is more than 6, and 8 is more than 6, and 9 is more than 6. So, um, the new fish is shorter than fish. B, C, and E. And let's see, use your centimeter cubes to model each length and to answer the question. Henry gets a new pencil that is 19 centimeters long. 
He sharpens the pencil several times. If the pencil is now nine centimeters long, how much shorter is the pencil now than when it was new? All right, well, here's what I'm going to do. I could get out 19 centimeter cubes and line them all up and draw the picture. Well, so I'm not going to have to draw a picture of the cubes anyway. Here's what I'm, here's what I'm going to do. All right, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I don't know if these are going to fit on the page. I don't think they are. Six, seven, oh, we'll be okay. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19. Okay, so new pencil in my picture. I'm just going to use, say, And if you want to know how to spell new pencil, it's right there. So the new pencil is this long. And he sharpens it a lot. And now it's only nine centimeters long. So. One, two, three, four. One, and I'm, I'm going to use the end, this other endpoint and get it to match up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Now, after it's been sharpened, it's an old pencil. It's really the same pencil. Uh, so this is 19, and this is only 9. How much shorter is the pencil now than when it was new? So this is, it's this much shorter, which is 19 minus 9, the difference between 9 and 19, which is 10. pencil is 10 centimeters shorter and now um, Malik and Jared each found a stick at the park. Malik found a stick that was 11 centimeters long. Jared found a stick that was 17 centimeters long. How much longer was Jared's stick? 
Now you could do the same thing that I just did above with question four with the two with the new pencil and the sharp the sharpened pencil. Um, and you can set it up just like that. Or you can just draw a picture of it. And you can definitely model it with your cubes and then draw a picture of what you did with your cubes. So that's what I'm, I'm going to just draw the picture this time. So this is Malik's stick. M is his stick. And I'm going to say his stick is this long. And I'm going to call it 11 centimeters. Now Jared's stick is 17. 17 is longer. So I'm going to draw a picture of a longer stick. And call it 17 centimeters. And if you want, you can draw like little cubes like that and, and make sure that they add up to the right numbers. But I'm not going to do that. And the question is, how much longer was Jared's stick? So this is what we want to know. We want to know how long is this part right here, right? Because this is the longer. That's the how much longer. And we want to know how much is it? What's the difference between 17 and 11? So that's 17 minus 11. And you could count that up. Those numbers are close enough, right? So it, you could do you could do the subtraction right because you know you're going to be taking away uh, you're going to be subtracting a ten and a one so that gets for the seventeen you take away the ten it's only going to be seven left and if you take away the one from the eleven then you're only going to have six left or you can count it up from eleven to seventeen which is twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen that's six numbers six centimeters longer. Jared's stick is six centimeters longer.